What's up? It's your boy Prism God, and this is Prism God TV. Man, we don't take no breaks. We all gas. I'm just messing with you. But look, check this out. I'm at Hartsville, Jackson, Atlanta Airport. I'm about to do a deal. It's probably one of the biggest deals I've done. I hope you guys like it. Cards in this collection that we picked up is oh sorry, is the Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain and the Bob Cousy rookies are probably the biggest cards in this lot. Um, I had a Wilt Chamberlain in the past. Many of you guys know on my YouTube I had the two and a half on my last one, so I'm very happy about this upgrade. I'm really happy about this card being in my collection. Um, then Bob Cousy is another card. Wasn't expected to get, but under the circumstances, I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm not disappointed at all. So I really enjoyed it. So that's really dope. So I really appreciate that. Again. What's up? It's your boy Prism God, and this is Prism God TV. I want to thank you guys for joining me and going on this roller coaster for the last month with me. This is probably like my 10th or 12th episode. I can't even keep up at this point. Um, and I think this time is getting ready. We're getting ready for football. So shout out to football. I'm probably going to do a football episode and I'll probably talk about some predictions and talk about some people who I think are going to do well for the hobby. So look forward to that episode that may be coming up maybe next week sometime. I'm not even sure when I'm going to put this out. So you have to wait. And before you wait, you got to make sure you click on my YouTube channel, click that bell notification so you can get all the updates on all current information going on with Prism Guys. If you want to find out where I'm at, you follow me on Instagram. If you want to find out new video shows, you follow me on YouTube. And if you just want to hear me talk trash, follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. And that handle again is Prism Guy. All right. So with that being said, last week I had the pleasure of meeting one, a gentleman from uh, Dallas that I actually met off of eBay. Uh, we proceeded talking about a deal, well, one card in particular, which I'm going to talk about very shortly. And that one card ended up spawning into the rest of these cards. And I'm going to go over a few of them with you. And this actually ended up becoming one of the biggest deals I've ever was a part of um, in the hobby. And with me being back in the hobby, you know, you don't always see these type of deals all the time. You don't always get a chance to meet cool people who will sell you entire collections. So this is one of the collections that I picked up. So I'm going to talk to you about it. Um, one thing I actually don't have here um, with me is the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, the pop toy. It was signed, that pop toy, which I'll probably put as a picture here on the screen. Um, it had agent somebody, it was a Funko Pop, but the one thing about that thing that stood out the most was the fact that it was signed by Stan Lee. Rest in peace, one of the greatest comic uh, artists and uh, writers of all time. So that item is probably in my personal collection somewhere and I don't have it on hand. I, I probably would have showed it to you, but again, I'll put a picture up uh, for you guys. So with that being said, vintage is in right now. So with me recognizing that vintage was in, I was actually going in particular, I was looking for a particular card. Uh, and one of my previous episodes, I talked about one of the cards, this card, particular card, and the fact that I regret getting rid of it. Since then, the market on this card is probably doubled or tripled which led me to bringing it back. I present to you the Wilt Chamberlain BVG 7.5. I believe it's a lot better than the 
Uh, not sure if I'll probably crack it. I'll probably end up putting it, sending it to PSA to just get it converted over to a PSA for an honest grade. Uh, but this card is beautiful. It's centered really well. Has really nice color, no flaws or anything, no chipping. Um, this card is simply beautiful. This will probably be a card I'll probably never get rid of, but one of my favorite cards that I put, I got out of the collection. Um, the other things I got out of this out of this set was a 1957 Topps Bob Koozie. As you can see, it's really nice. Um, not really, I don't know a whole lot about this card, but it's again, vintage is in. I saw that it was doing well in the market, and I went on ahead and went after it. Um, we're going to probably go back and forth between footage of me meeting the gentleman. Like, this whole deal, like, before I go into the rest of everything that I got, um, I think I got up at like 7, 8 in the morning. I was so excited about this deal. It was a Friday. Um, and, man, he was just a really cool human being to deal with. We met at Atlanta, Hartsville. He flew in from Dallas. Uh, no, from Dallas, Texas, or was Houston? I think it was Houston. Yeah, it was, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. The guy was from El Paso, Texas. <laughs> totally off. El Paso, Texas. And from El Paso, Texas, he proceeded to fly to, he spent the night in Dallas. Then he went from Dallas to Atlanta. And the whole time, keep in mind, with this card, there was one on auction for a dollar amount, probably like over $20,000 at some point in time. And so... When he, we, we decided to make this deal, we had already agreed on a price. And the whole time we had one on auction. So it was really kind of crazy. I didn't really think this deal was going to happen because we had already agreed to a little bit lower of a price. And, you know, with, with eBay, you know, you don't necessarily, you can't, you don't really know what to believe in eBay because sometimes things sell all the time for high prices. And then you're like, well, why does this card over here sell for this? So it was like, you know, I tell people all the time in the hobby, there's a ideal price, right, that you want, like a fanatic price, like a, a fantasy price that you want in a hobby. There's a realistic value that the card is worth, and then there's a value that you get. So with that being said, you know, dollar amount is, hey, you know, I want this card, I want $10 million for it, but in reality it's worth $10,000, and then maybe I sell it for $7,000. So I tell people all the time about those three different terminologies when, when you're dealing with uh, hobby and the value of cards. So I think it's a very big understand, big deal to kind of figure out your understanding on where you lay lay in, in terms of values of cards. So with that being said, so I met this gentleman from El Paso, Texas. He flew in. Uh, I treated him to lunch. We hung out, had a good time, had a drink or two. Uh, I forgot the name of the restaurant. Do you remember the name of the restaurant we went to? Well, you can talk to me. Oh, TGI Fridays. Okay, it was TGI Fridays. The cameraman talking to us. So we went to TGI Friday. Uh, hung out, had a good meal, drank a little bit, had a good time, talked about cards, talked about life, and then we literally just went through all this collection. So which precedes me with the rest. So I had so much fun. Which is all, all I really cared about with these two cards, but he really had all these other cards that he had in mind. And, ooh, some other things he gave me. He gave me a Jack Nicholson set. Ah. The Pro Golf series with Jack Nicholson's rookie in it. I have three of these. Um, also, not to mention Will Chamberlain in the Lakers jersey. Uh, Lou Alcindor, which if you don't know who Lou Alcindor is, is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, just thought you should know. All right, so with that being said, we also have more Kareem Abdul-Jabbars. All right, we picked up some uh, Julius Irvins. And some of all-time favorite sets of all time, that Flair set from 1986. I got Isaiah Thomas, James Worthy, rookie Carl Malone, Clyde Drexler, Magic Johnson, Dominique Wilkins, and Chris Mullen. I was hoping he would add a Jordan in there because I was so excited when I saw these. I was like, oh, man, I'll take that. <laughs> but no Jordan. But he did give me some other Jordans, and I'll show you those very shortly. Outside of the Jordans, I also picked up uh, a bunch of John Stocktons. Look at that. Picked up a bunch of, if I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it again, Larry Birds. Love Larry. Larry Legend. I picked up a really cool George McKeon autograph. And picked up a couple worms. Me being a Bulls fan, I was super excited. Appreciate you going to throw it to me. Oh, 
Oh no! There we go. Look at that. I said we was gonna bring you a picture of it, but instead I actually have the real life version of it signed by Stan Lee. Check that out. That is so dope. It's Agent Carter. Is initially is her pop. Um, the guy told me the story was he was doing a uh, Comic Con, and in that Comic Con, you can get Agent Carter's autograph, which I think costs like twenty, thirty dollars, and you could pay two hundred dollars for Stan Lee. And I don't think he had any Stan Lee uh, pops at the time, so he was like, "Well, hey, I'll just have you sign the next best thing." Still see Marvel. You also have Stan Lee. So this is actually is one of my personal collections. I've, I've been wanting a Stan Lee autograph for a long time. Um, so me owning this is so super dope and I'm really excited to own this, have this to be a part of my collection. Now let's get back to some cards. Um, I did pick up a couple football players as well. I don't know much about a lot of these guys, but Steve Largent and a couple other veteran cards here, as you can see, I think it was a Don Fultz, uh, Lawrence Taylor. I'm not sure there's a rookie or not. I couldn't remember. Um, let's see what some other people I couldn't think of. Oh, Roger Starbuck. Check that out. Ronnie Lott. And then now we're going to go back into some basketball of Golden State Warriors. Robert Parrish, the chief. And then we got some Daryl Dawkins. And then more Robert Parrish. So this collection was pretty crazy what he gave me. Uh, without going into too much detail, I'll just highlight some more stuff. Me being a Bulls fan again, you got to have Scottie Pippen. If you don't have him, you're missing out. And then all time great, the GOAT, Michael Jordan, and then more Michael Jordan. So this lot was a really good lot for grading. I'm probably gonna send all this stuff in the PSA. Um, not sure how it's gonna pan out. Not really sure 100% about a lot of the conditions. No, even, I mean, the guy actually told me that he pulled most of this stuff, which actually made me feel good about trying to grade it. So I was pretty happy about it. Um, the few other things I want to talk to you about. He actually threw in an autograph Cowboys. I know my boy, he's a he's a Chiefs fan. I'm sorry, a Washington Redskins or a Washington fan. But I got a Hall of Fame jersey of Harper from the Cowboys. Look at that. It's pretty dope. So he threw that in on the deal, which I thought was a really, really cool thing to do. And meeting up with this guy was just so fun. I'll talk about a couple other things he picked up. So this was totally, had totally left field for me. Um, I don't own any comic books. I don't think, it's been a while since I've owned some comic books. It's probably been high school. I probably bought, I probably, I think I used to own this comic book when I was in high school, but I never, I didn't know anything about grading. I just read it. It's like, okay, cool. I'll put it in my little folder and forget about it. I have no clue where those comic books are, so I'm sure they're probably at my mom's house somewhere or she may be throwing them away. Who knows? But... I also have the first, uh, what is this, the first appearance of Carnage? So the first appearance of Carnage is a 9.8. Okay, pick that up in this deal. Um, I have Avengers 181, which is a 9.8. I think it's just the first appearance of Ant-Man. So I'm not sure if you know anything about the Marvel Universe, but Ant-Man. And then this is also the first appearance of Venom. Okay, so... I picked up a cool, a couple cool, you know, uh, comic books to add to my personal collection. I'm doing a little renovating around the house, so I want to have some really cool stuff. So picking up some of these things that I'm probably going to keep for the rest of my life or pass down to my son or my daughter. Um, I'm just, I'm really just excited. So meeting this guy and getting a chance to hang out with him and go over his collection and talk about where he got some of these things from uh, was just so tremendously cool man i really have fun with him um and i really appreciate you doing this deal with me and i look forward to doing more deals and sharing them with you guys and i'm really appreciative appreciative of bringing back my one and only wilt chamberlain and that's pretty much it for you guys man i really appreciate you joining in um if you have any questions or concerns feel free to chime in and send me some messages on prism god uh instagram twitter or YouTube, make comments, feel free to click and subscribe if you have not done that. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'm out, baby. Let's go.